Buzz away, little bee. Buzz, buzz. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Um, cool little detail. They have a little honeycomb design there in the background. Origin Bumblebee. There's Bumblebee. 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 Bumblebee Transformers. On this side we have more Bumblebee. On the other side we have Bumblebees and Bumblebees. And on the top, Transformers, Generations, Takara. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box we have Bumblebee. Your obligatory product shots. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Origin Bumblebee. And first things first, I have to give a big thank you to Dreamer out there on Twitter who helped me to get this little guy because my target has been a barren wasteland for months. They can't even stock their own exclusives. So <laughs> Dreamer out there was very nice uh, to pick one up for me and send it my way. So thank you very much, Dreamer out there. You rock. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. But yes, here we have the Origin Bumblebee from the uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. And yeah, as you can see, this is Bumblebee's alt mode in the pilot episode of the G1 cartoon. And this is really cool. I really dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Of course, you have a nice Autobot symbol right there on the front. You get some gunmetal gray up front as well. You get a nice trans clearance windshield. And not a whole lot else to talk about. I mean, there's some panel lining, but everything's pretty smooth. Not a whole lot going on. Um, yes, we have kind of a, a bit of a, you know, kind of patchwork look here because we have yellow plastic, yellow paint. As always, that doesn't match. Nothing new, but I'm sure somebody's going to complain about it. It's just the way it is. But all in all, though, I think it looks pretty good. And there's the back. And there is the top, there is the bottom. You got visible hair syndrome. Hi, how you doing? Um, he can't slide as flying things should slide. Hooray for sliding, flying, hovering things that slide. He's like a little hockey puck. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the other buzzworthy bumblebee that I reviewed a while back with his Earth mode. And here he is with the Netflix. Bumblebee. Here it is with Starscream. So you can see there how it scales with the uh, Tetra Jet. And here it is with the Mass Toys version, or Moss Toys, I forget how you pronounce that. But uh, the third party version of Cybertron Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, um, you get this little pistol, just done in black. You get his uh, jetpack. Now, on the uh, the shot on the packaging, uh, this is silver, but you know they ended up doing it in black. But, hey, if you want it silver, you can paint it silver. But still, nice little jetpack going on there. You can store this on the alt mode. Uh, you can take the jetpack if you want and just. Plug it right there, like so, and you have these ports on either side here. You can take these and plug that in like that. Have that going on. It's not very elegant, but hey, it's storage if you want storage. Um, one thing I found is that you can, you can kind of cram the gun in here. And it will kind of fit. You can kind of do this. Oops, it might pop out, but there you go. Just get that pushed in. There you go. So you can have it just all stored like that if you want. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Hey, it's an option. It's an option. Hey, why not? Oops, there you go. <laughs> or you can plug it into his hands. His hands are down there, too. You can always just plug it there. Have that going on. I mean, it's going to have him sitting sideways, but I mean, you can do things if you want to do things. And there's also a little port right here you can plug a flight stand onto if you want to and get some little flying poses out of them. So, hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. So, you have that. And you also get five of these conductors done in a transclearant orange. Although there's not enough energy in these conductors to last a cortex, but you know, hey, it's something. It's better than nothing. 
So you get those, and you can't really do anything with them. They just, I don't know. You just, I, yeah. These are just things that just lie around. <laughs> but hey, the little accessories for playing out scenes if you want to. But yeah, that is basically it for the alt mode. I think it turned out quite well. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get a good spin on him. Good, good spin. So let us commence. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this front section right here and just push this down. Just kind of get that out of the way. Then you want to take this whole front assembly here and this whole top section here. Just bring this up and bring it forward to get it out of the way. Once you've done that, you want to come back here. There's a little, little hook tab right back there. Just undo that so you can split all this. There's a little tab that goes up under here as well. So just free all that up and then we can bring what will be his legs down. Get that freed up and unfold that. And then you're going to rotate at the thigh. So everything's sitting like this. And now we will work on his legs. So you want to take this section here, untab it from what will be his foot and then just kind of rock his foot down, get it out of the way. This panel right here will just fold back. See his little tab slot connection right there. So just tab that in. And then this section right here will just come back and come back. This panel will flip up and then the foot will just collapse up on this double hinge like so and there you have leg all done second verse guess what is just like the fast so just untap that let's get for a little wiggle wiggle get it out of the way bring this panel around tap it in bring all this to the side bring it to the side bring that up wiggle 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 that foot up and there you have the legs all done and now we move on to the upper body so you just want to take his arms split them and just bring them back bring it back and then we can flip out his fists flippity flip flippity flip and then we can turn his waist around so everything's facing forward as forward facing things should and then this chest piece you want to rotate this bit down, bring all this down, and then bring the chest piece up. So it's sitting where a chest should sit. And then this section here, this hood section, will just fold up, and this is all on a double hinge. So you just collapse this down against his back, like so. And there you go. There you have the Bumblemeister in his robot mode. And he's just a little bumblebee, look at him, look at him! But yeah, not too shabby, a nice little bumblebee, if I do say so myself, and I do, because I'm the only one in the room right now. But let's get in closer, so we're going to take a look now at his chest, at his noggin, there's the noggin! It's a nice bumblebee, nice sculpt there, so for the face, blue for the eyes. Nicely done, all about some right there on the chest, you got some blue there. For the uh, faux windshield and windows. Never got why they had their earth mode parts on Cybertron. <laughs> that never made sense in that <laughs> in that pilot episode, but hey, it is what it is. Oh no, you know, he looks like Bumblebee. Got some black going down the legs there. You got the little faux bumpers going on there, done in black. And with the back, I mean, he's got some, he's got some junk hanging off of his legs. You know, he's got a backpack going on. But all in all, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, I think his head is on a ball joint. I can't really tell. It might be. Get a little wiggle waggle. You can get a little bit of upward, a little bit squirrel, a little bit of squirrel. Um, head can rotate, can do a full 360. Although the joint on mine's pretty tight, arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. Um, due to transformation, you can get some forward movement there on that shoulder. So you can get his arms in front of his chest if you want him to. Uh, you have bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist, just downward movement due to transformation. He has waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You have thigh rotation. 
Uh, you do have a double jointed knee, um, but you only get about 90 degrees of bend there. If you move this panel out of the way, you can take advantage of that full range of movement. So that's up to you how you want to work things there. And the feet, as we saw earlier, you have that double hinge there. So you have upward, you have downwards, you can do what you want there. And you have like all kinds of ankle tiltage, disturbing levels of ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his accessories. We can give him his uh, jet pack here. I can just plug right in there like so. And you can get all jet packy. And we can give him his pistol. That just plugs right into his hand and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff. And we can give him the, uh, the conductors here. Just, you know. Suck him into his arm. It's the best you can do, really. Is just gonna have him lugging them around. There we go. <laughs> do that. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. Why not? And yes, B is bluish compatible. Yes, he is bluish compatible. The jetpack is bluish compatible, so we can take some blushes, plug them in back here, and he can bluish, bluish off into space. But of course, we can take this, put this onto his gun, and we can do a big old bumble. Bloosh! Is that bumble bloosh? Oh yes, oh yes. And if you want, you can uh, take the backpack and give it to Sideswipe. So it's a little low, but you can give it to him if you want, or if you wish, you can. Uh, Give it to Prime. Say, hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the other Buzzworthy Bumblebee I reviewed a while back. He's your guy. Here he is with the Mass Toys Bumblebee. Here he is with the Netflix, Bumblebee. Just because, here he is with Wheeljack. Here he is with Starscream. Here he is with Siege Prime. And here he is with Earthrise Prime. There you go. So there you have Origin Bumblebee. And yeah, he's a nice little bumblebee. I quite like him. The alt mode looks really good. Nice and screen accurate. On the robot mode, I mean, he's got some junk hanging off of him. But it is what it is. Still not too bad looking. The transformation is fun. It works. It's smooth. Just overall a, uh, a fun little bumblebee figure. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with him. So there you go. Go. So again, a big thank you to Dreamer out there for helping me get my hands on this guy. Um, these Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures are a Target exclusive, so check your targets, check target.com. Of course, for all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pour in your face. <laughs> Prime warned me there'd be days like this! What? You mean Decepticons doing everything they can to brutally murder us? That's every day. Oh yeah. Oh, well, then back to business as usual! Yeah!